Let's continue with our Bruges walking tour. To those who didn't know yet, Bruges is a town located in Belgium, Brussels. This is my remembrance. Yeah. Yeah. Snail. Yeah. <laughs> they have also we go there. We are now here in one of the many shops of chocolates here in Bruges. As we all know, Belgian chocolate is one of the best chocolates in the world. Only like that. Well, take it all so fill it up twelve. And yes, we are now in a chocolate shopping. So, kung nakikita niyo po, napakarami pong chocolate. And if you are in Bruges, makikita mo that there are really a number of chocolatiers or the maker or seller of chocolates. And you will also encounter different uh, shops for chocolates. I want. I have this already. Kokos Paline, yeah? Yeah. Okay. This is all just in Persian. Yeah. Only. Ah, okay. Yeah, only one. Yeah. There, on the other Mojito. Yeah. Mojito. 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 So as you can see, we are literally on chocolate shopping. So bibili ka ng ano yung lalagyan niya, the container, and then you just have to fill it up. So medyo may kamahalan ng talaga ang chocolate dito. Orange, lemon, mm -hmm. passion. This one maybe. Passion. Yeah. I don't know what's that. Okay. okay ready? This one out. Marshmallow? Me. Oh, yeah, this is not fitting there. Yeah. So you can choose uh, what chocolate you want or what yeah. flavors you want to put or to fill in yeah. in your um, container or this. can. So, can bayan. Yeah, it's up to you. So you have a variety of choices. And now we are here in one of the shopping streets in Bruges. Only. Hi, ah, you see that? Yeah. The, the, from there, Santa Claus comes. The original? Yeah, this is for St. Nicholas. This is where St. Nicholas, the original, came yeah, from? From Belgium. So. Suitcases? Buy one, free one. What I like here also in Bruges is that you will still feel the vibrant of the medieval time because of the uh, carriage, horses, the buildings and houses that were built as early as 13th century. If you have uh, watched my previous videos, we learned that Bruges was occupied by German forces during the World War I and II 
but were not destroyed. So meaning, uh, what we see here are reminiscent of the medieval period. That's why when you are in Bruges, you will really feel the medieval atmosphere. We are now in the marketplace. This is one of the recommended places to go to when you are in Bruges because this is the center of business here in uh, Bruges. Meaning you can find here restaurants, shopping malls, and also this is where you will find the Belfort or the Belfry Tower. Market Square is also recommended to be visited at night time because of its photographic view at night time due to the lights that surrounds the place. persons are allowed that's why you have to fall in line and wait to get in no need because of the long line of the people interested to go to the top of the belfry tower we decided not to climb you know, the 366 stairs and this tower is and 83 meters high so when you are able to get there on the top you could be able to view the whole bruge so you will be able to have a very beautiful area view of the whole city of bruge so we are now exiting the belfry or the belfort this is the back side And we are now near the Bengwin Edge. We are now continuing with our walking tour. This is the fountain where the horses that carry tourists are drinking water. Really amazing. They're now resting. We are now crossing the bridge going to Big Winage. Yeah, this is the end of the boat tour. That's up to where the boat tour only. No? Yeah. See the water, huh? it's not so clean. The Greenwich was built in the 13th century. It became the princely Greenwich when the Count's Chapel was transferred. The gate was built in 1776. And many of the little houses here date back to the 17th century. And thus conclude our Bruges walking tour part 2. So please watch out for the continuation and that's coming soon. See ya! Thank you for watching!